Hey Pokemon trainers and Pokemon masters, I'm Zentorion XYZ. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, by the way, if you like Pokemon TCG openings or just Pokemon product openings, for example, you've come to the right place. Uh, today we're going to open up uh, some Double Blaze Korean Pokemon cards. And these are two booster boxes that I've had for a bit here and I wanna get them opened up for you guys. So make sure you stick around and watch. We're also gonna open up a couple of Ultra Prism packs uh, throughout this video, uh, which do, do have code cards. So you'll get some of those code cards as well. Whoop, that was dangerous. Never, ever, ever cut anything facing you. Always cut it facing the other way. It's uh, it's better. Less risk of hurting yourself. I promise. Alright, here we go. We've got that. And we've got that. And these are big openings. So I'm going to cut the, uh, the packs open to save a little bit of time. All right, we've got the two stacks here and let's go ahead and get these opened up. All right, so let's get started here. We've got uh, some card that comes with these. I don't know what they say. Uh, I also don't know if there's a card trick for these. So let's get these going. An Esper, a Jigglypuff. I'm gonna do the Jigglypuff song, my friends. Here we go. <coughs> Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. There you go. That is the Jigglypuff. Murkrow, Stunfisk, and uh, Kitty Cat. Thing. Garbage. Coughing. Cat. Cat. Lots of cats. Another cat. Oh my goodness. We just keep getting cats. There's cats everywhere. There's a lot of cat Pokemon. I didn't realize how many cat Pokemon there were. <coughs> Korean League Pokemon card game! Interesting. Another cat! A Ghastly. A Cotton. A Rock. A seal. Well, that's Dugon, but it's still a Seal type of uh, Pokemon, so... Uh, <laughs> these, are, these are interesting. So, a uh, GX Tag Team thingy majigger. By the way, yes, you can pull Reshiram and Charizard in this set. And that's what we're looking for, by the way. So, there's a Blast on and a Hollow Reds Challenge. Yes, this is the same artwork that we have seen in Unbroken Bonds because, well, it's basically Unbroken Bonds, but Korean. Pokemon! Oh, that's a cool little, uh, I guess that's for the anime. Uh, they got all kinds of advertisements in those little poster cards there. A Crab, a Diglett, a Shatat, Giovanni, a Lolan, or, no, that's just regular Doug Trio. That's a regular Doug Trio. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see if we can get something awesome. There's a, nobody wants that card. Please, why are you putting that here? It's a haunch crow. A haunch crow, come on. Come on, nobody wants haunch crow. So, Double Blaze. Uh, Double Blaze is, uh, came out in, in Japanese first, obviously. And, uh, and then it came out in... 
uh, Korea as Double Blaze, and it also then came out in English as Unbroken Bonds, which we all uh, know and some of us love. Uh, I do love Unbroken Bonds. Uh, I've opened up a lot of it, so I haven't opened it in a bit just because I opened so many. Uh, we do have, oh, there's something awesome back there, but I'm gonna take a second real quick. We have an Unbroken Bonds booster box still sealed, and that box is gonna remain sealed until the video that I'm going to link up above gets 15 likes. When it does, we'll open up that box. Darkman at 10, there it is, a Machamp and Marshadow, or Marshadow and Machamp. That is a full art. That is a nice card right there. And um, not a lot of texture on this, but uh, definitely does look nice. So we'll put that here along with Red's challenge. Here we go, let's see what we can get in another pack here. There is a seal, there is a diglet. Uh, Ghastly, Welder, Meow Stick. Let's see if we can pull, if we can pull that Reshazard in Korean, that would be very cool. I would absolutely love that. That would be just amazing. Uh, I Obviously, they're not worth as much as the English set or the Japanese set. These are cheaper. Uh, these boxes are very cheap, so if you just like collecting because of the artwork or you want to collect an entire set and you're not really worried about worth the value of a card, you just kind of like collecting Pokemon cards, um, this is an option because you can get a whole booster box for dirt cheap. There's another Jigglypuff and we're not going to do the song. Uh, we've got a kitty cat, a Rhyperior, a bunch of rocks. I don't remember seeing that card in Unbroken Bonds, so... There may be some cards in this set that aren't in the Unbroken Bonds set. That's very possible. Highly probable. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're... Stunt, st ah, Stunfisk is an uncommon here, so that's a good thing. There's a Gengar uncommon. That's a cool artwork. It's too bad that's not a holo. <clears throat> so, Double Blaze. Hmm. We got a whole bunch of these, by the way. I've got... There's trash. Uh... <laughs> These two boxes, I also have two more. So there's gonna be more of these openings. Um, I just uh, didn't wanna open four boxes all at once because it's a lot of packs. There's a Volcanion that is a hollow. So we'll take that. Let's see if we can get something really awesome. I think I see something in the back. Now oh, there's that Honchkrow GX that we didn't want. Why Honchkrow? Why? Ugh. Honchkrow just... Not that I don't like Honchkrow as a Pokemon. I just, we get so many of these. They're, they're not very rare, honestly. Uh, they're one of the uh, least rare of the ultra rares, in my opinion. So, I get them in, you know, I've gotten them in Japanese, I've gotten them in English, and now I'm getting them in the Korean as well. So, you know, it, it is what it is. That's okay. Uh, you know, I open these up for you guys so you guys can see what these Korean boxes are all about. Because I know some people are, are curious about that. They want to see what these Pokemon cards are about in different countries with different languages on them and what cards are in the sets. So um, really, you know, when I when I get these Korean 
cards. I'm really doing it for, for you guys that like them. I know that um, some of the other Korean unboxings that I've done uh, have been pretty popular uh, in comparison to some of my other videos as well. So it just kind of made sense to, to open these up for you guys because it seems like you guys like them. So let me know in the comment section if you want to continue seeing Korean openings because it's definitely something that um, I can continue doing. I've got a bunch of Korean boxes from different sets that I, I was planning on opening up. And um, so I definitely would like some feedback on that. There's a Snorlax with the Pikachus and the Torchic hanging out. Very cute. Very, very cute. All right, here we go. Let's get this opened up. And if you haven't watched the uh, series that I've created where I'm going through pre-release kits, um, make sure you go check those out because they're, they're instructional and they're also uh, openings. So going through pre-release kits, uh, speaking of League, basically, uh, I'm going through those pre-release kits that are in the 2020 standard rotation. Those, that's the rotation that's coming up now. And um, that rotation will be good up until next year sometime, probably around this time as well. Uh, and that starts off with Ultra Prism. So I will be opening up pre-release kits from Ultra Prism upwards. Um, so from Ultra Prism till whatever set is, is going on now, which happens to be Unified Minds. So there's a Vile Plume. That's a cool looking artwork on Vile Plume. So this box has not been terrible. I mean, we've gotten two uh, GXs so far, one of them being a full art and the other being an ultra rare. Uh, but we have gotten quite a few hollows. So that's not too bad considering you are not guaranteed a rare in any of the packs um it does look like there might be a a set number of uh, gx's that you can pull a set number of ultra rares a set number of full arts uh so i'm hoping that we can get another one here in this box but uh we might be out of luck here oh, 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 there it is okay huh Oddish. Poliwag. Mewtwo. But uh, that is the hollow. There's a Venonat. Porygon. Rock. Dugong. All right. And like I said, we're going to be randomly inserting Ultra Prism. Why not? Throw in some English sets for you folks that like the English set and I've got a ton of these packs basically trying to put them into almost every video at the end or in the middle or randomly uh, as we try and continue to look for Solgaleo GX the rainbow rare or the uh, the gold card which I guess is a secret rare um, in that set but uh, bronze on fire memory Cranidos Turtwig, Salandit, Eevee, Buizel, Lickitung, Bronzong, and a Mo Rotom. So the luck, the bad luck continues with these Ultra Prism packs. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see if we can find something better than a hollow rare or a non-hollow rare in this case. There's another code. Fighting Energy, Cranidos, Pokemon Fan Club, Monferno, Execute, uh, Cosmog, Morlul, Drifloon, Glammeow, Hippopotas, and Torterra is the hollow rare so we continue there's going to be one more of those by the way i've got another one we're just going to 
uh, open up the rest of these packs. Here we go. Grell, oh, there's something back there. Porygon, Blasphalon, and a Muck, a Lolan Muck. Hollow, or uh, sorry, Ultra Rare, Muck, a Lolan Muck. Definitely uh, good that we got more than one Ultra Rare pull. So it's good that we got more than one Ultra Rare uh, out of that box. Let's see if we can get another one. I don't know uh, if there's a set number that you can get, so we'll find out. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comment section. And there we go. So that was the first box. 